Hello my little hackmons, welcome to episode 2 of Final Fantasy XV Brotherhood. And today we're gonna watch episode 2, which focuses on Prompto, my favorite. That's some nice music. They got good taste in music, man. <laughs> oh, a deer! Is, is he, uh, is he referring to, uh, Snape's Patronus from Harry Potter? That would be an interesting crossover. <laughs> I don't, again, you all know I don't typically like Final Fantasy heroes, but Pronto is pretty cute, although I do have some mixed feelings about him because Arden is my favorite character in the franchise, and Prompto kind of helps defeat him, so. Uh, but yeah, Prompto is. Whoa! Well, that took a hard right turn. You get it? It's supposed to be like a, a but um. Oh, there's a doggy. Yeah, it's pretty obvious he's injured if he's you know bleeding out. Oh. Now see. If the cover of this anime had a Newberry medal, you would know that dog is not going to make it to the end. Child, flashback! Whoa! I'm sorry, it's just, I know the whole point of this episode is about Prompto trying to lose weight, but, like, he looks kind of funny as a little kid. Noctis looks the exact same! Was he, like, a jerk as a kid, too? When are we gonna get the, the backstory that explains why Noctis is a jerk? Okay, those streets look exactly like the ones from Yokai Watch. I don't know if any of y'all have ever watched that show or uh, played the games, but they're really underrated. Not the Pokemon clone that everyone claims it is. Oh, nice. Prompto's got a digital camera. I use a Polaroid. Get on my level, Prompto. <laughs> yeah, it looks just like Yokai Watch. Who are his parents, though? I, I don't, I don't think we see his parents in the episode. What's he eating? It's, it looks like McDonald's, but it's three lines instead of an M. McLines? Is that the Final Fantasy equivalent to McDonald's McLines? McChocobo? Oh. Oh. Another doggy. <gasps> oh, now he can, uh... Prompto should have given him a little scarf like in a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> Plot twist, he's pooping. Oh, They cut away before the dog pooped. That's See, no prompto. No one's missing that dog. That dog is a wanted criminal. He is seeking refuge in your house, dude. You are sheltering a dog that has committed so many war crimes. <laughs> Just, I know that's not how the dog actually is, and the dog's really sweet, but I, I just think it's really funny to characterize the dog that way. He misses the outside world, and all the other dogs that he has slain. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, well, Prompto, you named him Tiny, but what happens when he gets big? Yo, Prompto's got one of those uh, lamps that you can just control with a remote. He rich. Is is this something uh, they the Final Fantasy developers never told us about? Is he one of those kids that's got like an Alexa and a Google TV? Home and like all of those? TV. TV. Oh no! TV. I think we all knew TV. this was gonna happen TV. because it's an episode where a character gets a cute dog. You think you think that cute dog's gonna be okay? TV. The dog was caught. He will be executed for his crimes. Oh wow, it's really pretty actually. Moving on from the fact that the dog's gonna be executed for his crimes, here is a really, really lovely animation. Hmm, that character model looks familiar. She reminds me of someone. Someone who is dead. Oh, would you look at that? The dog came back to his owner, who is uh, unwill unknowing about what he has done. And the lady in black will execute him in a week. Oh my god, is are they gonna stalk Prompto now? Is this gonna be like, uh, 1984 and they just have cameras set up everywhere in his house? Dude, why are you smelling a letter? Prompto, my man. You're a weird one. Okay. All jokes aside about the dog committing various crimes, this is a really cute episode. I I'm just making those jokes because <laughs> I'm more Wally and Wyrus. Why would I not make those jokes? Oh, of course, Noctis has to be in the picture. He's not too busy to play with his schoolmates, he's just a jerk. <gasps> Foreshadowing. Oh, young Prompto, you sweet summer child. I just want to go back in time and hand him a copy of Final Fantasy XV right now. I mean... It'd probably cause him to go insane and realize that he's a fictional character, but it'd be kind of worth it, not gonna lie. <laughs> Prompto, you, you can go around that, you know? You're, this isn't a platformer game. You don't have to jump over everything. You're in an RPG. But then again, I wouldn't expect you to know that because you're not self-aware. Yet. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Prompto. Noctis just has a plus five in dexterity. <laughs> D&D jokes, everyone. Why does Prompto just decide that, like, the reason why Noctis doesn't want to talk to him is because he's fat? I mean, there's probably plenty of other reasons. Uh, reason number one being that Noctis is a jerk. Um, so, you know, it, it's not always about the weight, Prompto. <laughs> He's just gonna put up that depressing reminder. He says, hey, you're fat. Oh yeah, and he's still eating uh, McLines. 
as we dubbed it earlier in the episode. Is he trying to hide his fat from Noctis? Is he trying to hide around the pole? Be like, you can't see me. You can still run inside, you know. Oh, th th that's a solution too. There's probably like indoor tracks in Japan or something. I assume. Oh no wait, th yeah, this isn't real life Japan. See, the backgrounds and places look so much like real life Japan that I keep forgetting this isn't a fantasy world. <laughs> he hasn't changed a bit, he's just wearing different shorts. <laughs> that is such a random thing to ask when they bump into you. Imagine I just like crash into you on the street and spill your groceries and say, Hey, I want to be fit now. Do you have any advice for me? <laughs> like, wh what would you think? Oh, wow, it's the same guy. Pretty nice car. So I told you Prompto at a rich fam. Oh no, that's not his car. Wait! Why is Noctis still a little child and then Ignis is like a teenager? What? What? I I'm sorry, what? Is that the police? They found him. They found the dog. Huh? Oh, older Prompto, wow. Whoa! Now I remember why I started watching this show. Mm-hmm. Yes, sirree, that's what I came for. <laughs> Why all fawning o over Noctis? Prompto's right there. Oh wow, I still got the same armband. I don't think slapping Noctis is gonna make him like very much. But oh, the little smile's so cute. <laughs> Don't I know you? Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm the guy that uh kinda cruelly dismissed you as a child and made you uh, a little traumatized on the inside. Sorry about that. And now Prompto has healed the dog that will go on to commit various war crimes in the future. And there's his mom standing proudly looking at his her son, knowing of the endless torment he will cause people. Wait, did they draw buttholes on the dogs like Neko Itsume? We have some animators that have attention to detail. <sighs> and how did Noctis sleep through a car crash again? Where is logic in this show? I fully expect episode 3 to have like cartoon physics. <laughs> Well, obviously, you guys are going to be at his wedding, right? And they drive off into the sunset, unaware of the fact that the dogs are going to take over the world. True villain of Final Fantasy XV.